One final thing that I wanted to mention to you about the male reproductive system is the bulbourethral glands. The bulbourethral glands will be, are located right here within the urogenital diaphragm. Now, you won't actually be able to see them as a structure, but they are there. So if there's a marker at this area and it says what gland is found here, then it would be bulbourethral gland. The function of this gland is to secrete an alkaline mucus that helps neutralize any leftover urine, acidic urine that's left in the urethra, and that will occur before ejaculation uh, happens. Next, let's move on to the female reproductive system. What you're looking at here, uterus. This is the uterus. This is the vaginal canal. This is the ovary. So let's start at the ovary. The ovary, the function is to produce eggs as well as female sex hormones such as estrogen. Next, when an egg is released, it's going to enter the fallopian tube. These are the fallopian tubes. However, you need to mention the specific parts of the fallopian tube. So let's begin with these wispy structures that look like fingers. Those are called fimbrae, and they will wave rapidly, and that will get the egg, released egg, to come into the fallopian tube. Now, the first part of this fallopian tube is right here, right by the fimbrae. It's called the infundibulum. The infundibulum then becomes the ampulla, which then becomes the isthmus as it gets close to entering the uterus. Now, if you look over here, you can see better the sizes. So fimbrae, infundibulum, the enlarged area is ampulla, but then you see how it becomes skinnier again? That's the isthmus. Next, uterus. Let's do the three main reg regions of the uterus. This is the fundus, just like the stomach, the rounded part. The main part, just like the stomach, is the fundus, or, I'm sorry, is the body. And then the bottom part, however, is the cervix. Let's talk about layers of the uterus. The outermost layer of the uterus is the parametrium. So you gotta pay attention to the question. I could have a marker here, and my question could say, what layer is this? It would be parametrium. But if it said, what region is this, then it's fundus. So watch your questions. Next, the inside, the majority, is called myometrium. Myometrium is the muscle cells, and they'll do the contracting during delivery. And then the inside layer, this purple layer, is the endometrium. This actually consists of two different layers, but I'll show you that in another model where it's more clear. Let's go down to the cervix. Now, when we begin the area of the cervix, right here, this area is called the internal os. At the tip would be the external os, and the canal between those two, cervical canal. And then this is vaginal canal. Let's talk about ligaments on this model. All of this whitish structure here is called the broad ligament. It helps to maintain the position of the uterus within the abdominal cavity. This one is the uterine ligament. So anytime you see something that connects directly to the ovary, it's actually connecting the uterus to the ovary, this is ovarian ligament. The other one we have to do is the round ligament. So let's look at that. This is the round ligament, that line. Now let's look at these other two lines. This one is going to be part of the fallopian tube. This one, bottom one here, or most lateral, or uh, I'm sorry, most medial, is attached to the ovary. The ovary is in yellow. So this would be the ovarian ligament, 
Again, fallopian tube, round ligament. Let's look at the structures of our fallopian tube. The little tips, remember, are fimbrae. Um, and we can, I can also show you here. So fimbrae, infundibulum, ampulla, and then this isthmus. Region, fundus, region, body, region, cervix. Layer, parametrium. This area is the urogenital diaphragm. Then let's look at some glands here. This gland on the back in blue, that is the greater vestibular gland, the greater vestibular gland. This secretes mucus that aids in reducing friction for sexual reproduction. This blue to the front is the clitoris. This structure is similar to the spongy tissues of the male penis, as it also engorges with blood during sexual arousal. So this contains lots of nerve endings. Let's remove this and let's go back. Let's look at the uterus. So we started with the parametrium layer the middle layer, pink one, is myometrium, and then the inside is endometrium. And the endometrium is actually this red line and this peach or light colored line. Now the endometrium, remember, has two layers. So actually, and you need to be specific here, the red layer is actually the stratum functionalis. Then this inner white or peachy layer is the stratum basale or ba basalis. The function of the stratum basalis is to support and nourish a developing embryo. So a, if an egg becomes fertilized actually within the fallopian tube, and the fertilized egg then moves down, enters the uterus, and attaches and embeds into the stratum basalis. Now, if a woman does not become pregnant, this layer is what will be shed uh, approximately every month. It's full of capillaries because capillaries contain blood, and blood contains nutrients that a developing embryo would need. But if there's no fetus, then it's shed and that's what would be called menstruation. The function of the stratum functionalis, the red line, is to produce a new stratum basalis every time this original one is shed. This one will make a new layer. Let's look down here. This is the cervix. So where it starts to get kind of a, a kinked line here, that's the cervical canal. Remember, internal eyes here, external eyes here. Look at these invaginated areas around the cervix. That's called a fornix. Now, for me, I don't care if you don't need to say lateral or anterior type fornix. Just say fornix. That's fine. And then you're in the vaginal canal and out. This structure is the labia minora, which are the inner smaller lips. Labia majora are the larger lips on the outside. This area is the mons pubis. So this is all fat tissue and also where hair would typically be found. Mons pubis. And by the way, this represents the clitoris, which if I put this back... You see that was the clitoris? Okay, it's, it still can be seen in red. Let's look at another model that's just showing the uterus. Regions. Bo I'm sorry, fu fundus, body, cervix. 
Now, let's flip it around this way. You can see the ovary. This is the ovarian ligament that connects it to the uterus. Here are little finger fimbres, infundibulum, ampulla, isthmus, and then it enters, the egg enters the uterus. Uh, this and then would be the vaginal canal. And here's another view. Again, the ovaries and then the structures of the fallopian tubes, just like we said before, ovarian ligament. But you can also see how this outer covering, with this, oops, is our broad ligament. Okay, just like we saw in this original, and this is an excellent view of the broad ligament, was all around it, so is it here. Expanding off. And that is female reproductive system.